So welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be making a duck civilization in Scratch. So, uh, to start off with anything, we need to design the duck to round our game. So I think we're going to make it like a retro e style. So to start off, we're just going to make somewhat of this. So this will, uh, yeah, I guess that would do. So then we can make the color of this orange. Then we can make the eyes uh, black, like this. And there will be one willow, but we're going to get into that later. So, now that we have our duck, maybe we can bring the size down to 60, just like that. And now we have our duck. Maybe we can make this come out a bit more to have that Mr. Duckle Z style. Alright, perfect. So now... We need to make the grass so we can just give the color a nice little green. The idea of this game is you just sit back and relax and watch these ducks grow. So we're going to, since we want an entire, like, civilization, we have to just do this. Then we can just, before we start duplicating, we need to make the code for it. So we're just going to make it, um, what where? All right. So we're going to make it glide to a random position. I guess that's how we're going to do it. So, glide, one second to win the position, forever, let's see how this works. Okay, that does sort of work, maybe we can make it slightly longer so it doesn't feel like it's bouncing, like this, maybe for five seconds. Oh, that's way too slow. How about three seconds? Alright, that's still pretty slow. So we're going to try four seconds. Oh, I meant two seconds. 2.5 seconds. What the heck? Okay, we're just going to change this to 2.7. Alright, that looks good. So, to fix a problem that it's on... The edge, let's see. I'm not good with if on edge bounce because like nobody uses it. But let's go see what happens if it's on edge. Then it should bounce. It looked like it did. Yep. Oh, what? This, oh, yep. Oh, okay. So, is it slightly coursed? Yes. Does it walk? Yes. Oh my gosh, it's upside down. You know what? We're just not going to focus on that right now. We're just going to focus on where they're going to live. So we're just going to make a bunch of little nests, I guess. So we're just going to... Uh, I know this doesn't look like a nest, but maybe if we just fill it in with some... Uh, dark brown maybe it would look like a nest but still it's hard to tell because all right this should do for a nest and we can just place that right there then make the size of it 30 okay boom so now we're just going to make a script so if touching uh if touching no, we don't need this. If touching sprite one, then, and we're just going to make this one forever, then what's going to happen is um, we're going to broadcast message one. When I receive message one, receive message one, Wait, I know what to do. Wait until something happens. So wait until uh hmm. You know what I have an idea. Instead of this making it touch us, we're just going to drag this into there. Well there's currently not that much code. Wait a second. Where did the code for this go? Oh, wait, never mind. So we do not need this. Wait, did it already do it? Alright, so. 
what just happened? Okay. So, if touching Sprite 2, then broadcast message 1, and then, uh, oh, I know, and we're just going to stop this script. Okay, so now what should happen is if you become in contact with it, nope, uh, then broadcast, that's be, uh, it only stops this, I guess, so, um, when I receive, uh, hmm, how are we going to, wait, I thought of something, if touching that, then broadcast message one, when I receive message one, duplicate this, and then we're going to grab this, copy that, no, do not paste this. Why did it only grab the eye? Okay, we're going to try that again. False, maybe we should group it. There we go. The control C, control V. Boom. So now we have a duck sleeping. We can just ungroup it now and adjust the eyes to make it look like it's sleeping. Like that. So these would be different costumes. So when green flag clicked, I'll make the costume costume one. Okay, guys. So let's see if this works. If it touches it, boom, it works. So uh, let's go. So now we're just going to make it hide if it's touching it because this is our new duck. And then we're just going to make it wait. Let's just say a nice maybe. 20 seconds before making it show again. Then we're going to make it broadcast a different message saying, all right, you have to wake up. So we're going to call it Wakey Wakey. So when I receive Wakey Wakey, switch costume to costume one, and let's go try this out. So... We're just going to be patient until it hits the nest. Oh, is it going to hit it? Nope. It can hit happen at any moment. Right. Yeah. So now that it's sleeping, it, we just have to wait another 20 seconds. Okay, guys. It walked. It, it walked. So that's good. All right. So now that we have a walking civilization, now we need to add... Some more stuff. So we need to make a variable for something to make it, um, civilization. I know it's a typo. No, civil, civil, civilization. What? Okay, boom, got it. So civil, civilization. Health. Equals. Uh. When green flag clicked. Set. Civilization health. To 100. Okay. Now. We're going to make a script where every. We're just going to make it wait. We're just going to make it actually the once forever, and we're going to make it wait two seconds before making the variable go change variable by negative two. Yeah, I feel like that makes sense. Let's see. All right. So as you can see, our colony is going down slowly but surely. So when... uh. So when it does touch it, then what will happen is uh, we are going to have the, make it, uh, the, the variable change by, let's just say, 
five, maybe ten. Ten. So it's pretty OP. That means you can get over one hundred. Boom. We are doing pretty good. So it's a game of luck. But now that we have all of these, we need to just make a bunch. Uh, basically, just make a hundred more of these. You know what, instead of a civilization for this episode, we're just going to make it a duck. So we're just going to say, we're just going to rename it and call it Duck Health. Boom. So now, we're just going to make it if, um, if the variable of the Duck Health is equivalent to 1,000... Then, we are just going to make the costume, oh no, we need to make this go into heal instead, get rid of that. So, if duck health is equal to 1000, then change costume to costume 2, and costume 2 is just the Mr. Duckles. Thing. So it is, I'm pretty sure it's possible to get, um, 1,000, but I don't, but there's only one way to find out, which is to wait. So you guys can play this game for yourself. I will leave a link in the description. And now for one th final thing, we need to make this go to costume two. And when green flag clicked, change costume to costume one. Let's see if, so... Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoy what you see, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. It real I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.